What's up guys and welcome to Rise, Son of Rome. Now available on the PC, this used to be an Xbox One exclusive, but now available on Steam, and it's really cool actually. I'm really enjoying it. We're gonna hop into the story mode here, and I, like I said, I really enjoy the game. It does have some flaws here and there, but overall I feel like this is a solid pickup. Okay, now we're into the action. And one thing you'll know about this game is that it's very, very graphically impressive. And that's sort of a big point of the game, is I feel like the best description of it is it's sort of a tech demo of the game, basically. Like, or a tech demo of the new generation, is what I mean to say. And you really see that a lot. I'm playing with the PS4 controller. The controls for, you know, an actual controller were ported over well, of course, because it was originally a, oh gosh. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh man, I'm not doing so good off the bat. But it was originally a, P um, a console game, so of course the um, console controls are gonna be pretty good. But the graphically, this game is fantastic. Now, I'll put my specs in the description, but I am able to run things on almost maximum. I feel like, I. I might be entirely maximum, but just sort of give you guys a good idea of what I have. I have a GT, GTX 760 graphics card and an i7-4820K Intel, um, um, what's it called, processor. I'm not a big computer guy. I don't know a lot about stats and specs and all that kind of stuff, but I'll, I'll give you guys a general roundup of what my computer is consisted of in a description. But graphically, this game looks fantastic. When it comes to the gameplay, it's solid gameplay, but brings nothing really new. It's sort of like an arcade fighter, as you can see. I'll sort of explain the controls. Basically, I'm pressing X and Y as it would be on the Xbox controller to, ooh, stop beating me up. X and Y on the Xbox controller to, uh, f you know, beat these guys up, and then the right trigger to um, do these executions. And then along with uh, pressing A to sort of deflect attacks. So let's uh, pull this out of him. There we go. So like, let me block this with A, and then Y to break his guard, X to start slamming him. Then if I hold down X, I can do a power shot like that. And then I can press R2 here, and I'll go into this mode where I can press whatever color button. So if it's yellow, it's Y, it's blue, it's X. That's how the Xbox controls work. And then B is my uh, dodge roll, this thing right here. So we, it's sort of like, you get these controls at the very beginning of the game and you stick with them throughout the entirety of it. So one of the big things, of course, is getting them low enough so that the skull is over their heads and then you can do that execution like I just did by pressing the right trigger. And these are pretty cool because they're like new every time. I mean, they, you'll see sort of similar things, but it feels pretty fresh each time you do it. And you're gonna be doing it hundreds and hundreds of times. So let's uh, pick this up. There are little green glowing things you can find, vistas and scrolls, these little unlockables and stuff to like adventure the environment for. So let's uh, get you, and then I'll also get you. Because I want to show off that you can also do a double execution, it's pretty cool. So let's try this, let's get you low enough. There we go, now that both of these guys are low, it'll go to that guy, and then go to this one, and then turn back to him, slice him open, and boom! Very cool, right? I, I like it a lot, I think it's really cool. Now when it comes to the story, it's, the more you understand about Roman stuff, which I don't really at all, I feel like the more you'll enjoy it, like the scenery and all that kind of stuff, and everything that's about and being like a Roman soldier and leader and all that kind of stuff, now it's like, even not knowing much about that stuff, I'm enjoying the story. You can tell there was some thought put into it. It's not the blandest, you know, you are the action hero. You know, there's there's some emotion in it. Barbarians are killing my men at the gate. Okay, then, I guess I'll go and get them. But uh, how it's sort of arcade style, of course, is you can see the combos on the top left, and you can see, like, sort of their definition as well. Like, I get a, like a recruit execution. Get this guy, let's block him. Oh, there we go, come on. These big guys are always the hardest. Here, let me get a good slam on them. Oh man, get out of here, buddy. <laughs> these guys are really showing me good. I have, haven't been able to fight two of these guys at once yet, so this is no. Come on, let's get you out of here. There we go, and then, oh man, I almost was able to execute him there. There we go, come on, oh, no, I didn't able to. Oh. So there's also an online multiplayer to this game that I'll get into in a little bit, but I haven't been able to try it myself because every time I try to find people to play with online, nobody's available. Like, there's nobody there, nobody to connect to. And maybe that's because I have the pre-release version that comes out, of course, before the game releases on Steam. Maybe that's why, or maybe it's just that the interest isn't there. Who knows, it comes out tomorrow as of recording this. 
All right, more guys to take out. Let's take you out, and then let's see if we can't help our friends at the gate. Apparently, they are getting low on health and being attacked by barbarians, so that's not good. So one thing I can do, let's get rid of you really quick, is if I use the directional pad, I can change my bonus that I get for killing people. Right now I have it so that I gain health after killing people, but I can also gain, um, you know, like, focus, which is, you know, sort of like, how, I forget what button it is. You'll have to give me a sec here. Do a bit of that, pull this out of you. I think it's L2? No, it's not. Uh, uh-oh. That's another thing is that the controls weren't entirely memorable. There we go, it's R1, or the right bumper, I guess it would be. But everybody goes slow motion, you can tear people up really super quick, and that's what that does. It can be pretty helpful. I mean, it's hard when people glow yellow because you can't really see it in the executions. All right, so did I need help down there? Not entirely. Looks like we're just going to be tearing up more guys. He's just standing here, that's sort of weird. I guess he's stuck. <laughs> okay then, uh, where am I off to now? I think that's everybody. So I broke these two levers down. What else is there to do? Oh, there it goes. And you can see here, these cutscenes are actually, from what I know of, pre-rendered. These definitely aren't in game. You can tell that by like the smoothness of the camera. Isn't like reminiscent of the actual gameplay. You can also tell some like quality the the uh, video here that it's pretty compressed in some situations. It still looks great, don't get me wrong, but I noticed that these are pre-rendered and pre-made. Looks like we win this battle though. It's a very epic game. It just it doesn't bring anything new to the table. Everything we've seen so far isn't spectacularly new or groundbreaking in any way. It's sort of just they took what is known for being good, solid, you know, attack games like this, and they just made it decent. Lads. The brave man tastes death once. Cowards, a thousand times over. Now we have already spilled barbarian blood, and we know they bleed as we do. <laughs> On me. Move. And I think it's pretty cool. These cutscenes, really, really cool. Now, another complaint I'd have with the game is that it's rather short. Um, I've played about an hour and a half to two hours of this story mode, and I'm already 20% through. It's, it, and it's something I've heard from other critics is that this game is disappointingly short. But we're gonna go into the options menu right now because we can also get some skill upgrades. Basically, um, in-game, if we play through the campaign, we get Val Valor, and we can use that to upgrade some executions, some like hero execution stuff, along with upgrading their skills. And I've upgraded a good amount of stuff. Some of it, you know, is locked for now. But it's like we can upgrade some of our gain. Like we can gain more XP with this, but we need a lot more valor. But we can also get coins. Now, how you get coins is you, um, you get coins through multiplayer, which is I don't have any of those because I haven't been able to play multiplayer because I can't connect to anybody. Let's let's do this. Marius will enter Burning Eagle mode after ten perfect hits. That sounds awesome. And we can purchase that with valor, and you can see it unlocked it. And you know, that's this is where we can upgrade our character. We can also customize our multiplayer gladiator, which once again, I can't really do too much about. But it seems like there's a lot of multiplayer to be had here. I can't comment too much on it. If I can't, if I haven't played it, I really can't. There's also a leaderboard if you're interested in that. So, um, besides that, like here's the gladiator mode where we can do a smart match or custom match. Now we can do custom match, but of course without anybody to find or connect to. I don't have anybody to play the game with, but I'm pretty sure that there's a party system or finding people. But there we go. This is Rise, Son of Rome. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. It's beautiful, it's simple, and it's solid. If you're looking for something that's not going to be groundbreaking in the game mechanics, but still has a solid game behind it, a little on the short side, but still enjoyable Roman story, this is gonna be pretty good for you. Of course, you need, you probably need a computer that will be able to handle it. I'll look at the, um, Graphics really quick here. You know, like I said, I'm not a big computer guy, so I don't know too much about this stuff. 
But, you know, you got some good amount of messing around here to be able to go into it and figure it all out. And, you know, a lot of detail and stuff you can change. But, yeah, Rise, Son of Rome, I think it's done so far. I want to continue playing it. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and commenting your thoughts. What do you think about Rise, Son of Rome? And are you going to pick it up for the PC? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.